You five are facing a pressure test. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. I look over and Lynn is lying on the ground. Medic! Medic! What the heck happened? Lynn, open your eyes. And I think that the whole collection of the stress, the exhaustion, it just all took its toll on her. Even though she did us wrong, I still hope she's doing okay. Everyone, the medic has informed us that Lynn is severely dehydrated. She'll be treated at the nearest hospital and will hopefully be back with us soon. In the meantime, you five are facing a pressure test. I have to get my head back in the game and I have to start thinking about my dish. I have to just be very reassured that she's in great hands. The dish that we're about to show you will determine your fate in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. And just like Cirque du Soleil, this dish hails from Quebec. The dish that you'll be making is tortière, the crème de la crème of meat-filled pies. I've made pies before, I've made meat before. In my mind, those two things do not go together. My sister and I make tortière every Christmas. I'm feeling so confident. The trick to making perfect tortière is twofold. First, the pastry must be delicate and flaky. Second, the rich meat filling must be perfectly cubed, cooked, and seasoned with an aromatic blend of herbs and spices. We want you to create your own irresistible version. To help you do that, we're giving you a specialty pantry filled with a bounty of extraordinary Canadian meats. Bison, wild boar, pork, elk, and red deer. I'm standing beside really strong cooks, so it's crazy scary right now, given that I've never made a tortilla before. So in the last few minutes where they've got to decorate, egg wash their pies and get them into the oven because it takes 30 minutes for those tortillas to cook. I don't know what Tammy's doing over there. I'm starting to lose track of time. I haven't actually assembled anything yet. 30 minutes! Your pie needs to be in the oven. If I don't get this tortilla in the oven, I could be going home. Keep watching my pie. I'm like a paranoid parrot. Very important when they're putting the pies in the oven, they're going in the bottom. And then you're gonna have this basic little convection happening. That heat's gonna wrap around the top, hit the top of the pie, and make that nice and golden brown. Five, four, three, two, one. Pie out! Hands up! I think it looks great. The pastry is beautiful. It's looking nice and flaky, and I'm really happy. That's what I'm talking about. You've all just completed your very first pressure test. And now, it's time to find out how you did. Michael, please bring your tortilla up to the front. I did a bison with sweet peppers, mushrooms, cayenne and chili pepper. It's uh, a man's pie. Not so pretty on the outside, but beautiful on the inside. Crust looks terrific. I like a thicker crust on my tortilla, because then you can really appreciate the flakiness of that pastry. Thank you, chef. So a little hot pepper, chili. I wanted to add a little kick to that. That's an interesting way to personalize a tortillere. The meat itself is cooked really nicely, very moist. But unfortunately, I do find the jalapeno just taking it a little too much with the heat end of things. But all in all, a good tortilla. And the meat is fiery combined with this rustic crust. It all works together. Delicious. Nice work, Michael. Thank you. Christopher. Everything is riding on this tortillere, and I don't know how the filling is inside the pie. So this is a mix of bison meat and applewood smoked bacon. I flavored it with rosemary, sage, thyme, and bay leaf. The crust actually has a bit of cayenne pepper and black pepper in it. See that? It's very dense. It means the meat is packed nicely. All these little slits that you made, that released all of the air that got trapped inside. It looks delicious. Very moist, it's glistening inside. Taste that. Does that taste like a pastry chef made it or a savory chef made it? A uh, savory chef. 
That's right. Great control of the spice and salt. Nothing's overpowering. It's all working in harmony. So it looks great, and it tastes even better. Thanks, Chef. He's got mad skills. <laughs> Moist, flavorful, very nice. Go back to your station. Deborah, please bring up your tortilla. So this tortilla is made with a wild boar tenderloin, thyme, nutmeg, ginger, bay leaf. Certainly at first glance, it's got a beautiful crust to it. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. Just holding together. Deborah, you said you used the boar tenderloin. Yes, I did. Just the tenderloin. Just the tenderloin. Yeah. You know, to use such a beautiful premium cut without adding something a little fatty that can deliver the moisture, it makes it drier. It doesn't become that tortier that I was hoping and wanting to taste. It looks textbook, but the soul of the pie, as we all know, is in the middle. Exactly. What's this? A bay leaf. Really? I know. You get this far in the competition, you leave a bay leaf in there? I didn't even realize that I left it in there. I know I'm disappointed. You're disappointed more. Yes, I am. Please head back to your station. I'm feeling a bit queasy and I'm feeling a bit nervous because I feel that I still have a lot to prove. Sabrina, please bring up your tortilla. I'm giving up my sister's wedding to be here. Nothing is kicking me out today. Tell me what you put in your tortier. Bison, pork butt, nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon. It is lovely and moist, and the seasonings, very subtle. Tastes delicious. Thank you. Great depth of flavor. The crust, perfectly baked. Crispy on the outside, in the center, nice and buttery, flaky. You're choking up. What's going on? I'm just thinking of home. <laughs> well, listen, you're missing your sister's wedding. But I think for a massive opportunity. Hey, chef. Really great job. Please go back to your station. Tammy, please bring up your tortilla. What's in there is uh, venison with pork fat, carrots, rutabaga, onions, garlic, apples, rosemary, and I did have a bay leaf at one point. To remove it? I certainly did, yes. You definitely nailed it on the crust. The fill, I know you're good with game. I'm just not too sure about the apple. The whole balance of the dish is just not there for me. I love innovation, but it has to be perfect. There's a predominant flavor profile that's running through this. It's very intense, and that's rosemary. Mm -hmm. I did add a teaspoon of uh, rosemary at the end. Was it dry or fresh? It was dry. That's the problem. Dried rosemary. It takes over everything. There is just no margin for error. Even the slightest mistake can send you home. We now have some tough decisions to make. And generally, we're very good. Wow, so this is going to be very challenging because there were some standout dishes. Some may be a little thin, good flake to many of them. So I think we got it? I think so. Can everyone please come up to the front? Tortier is not an easy dish to pull off, and you all did a perfectly respectable job. Some of you did much better than that, but we have to send at least one of you home tonight. Sabrina and Michael, please step forward. Two very different dishes, but very similar in one respect. They were both delicious. Well done. Both of you, please take off your aprons and head up to the gallery. I'm safe for the next day. One more day in this kitchen can mean all the difference. I did it. I did it for home. I did it for my family and my big sister. Christopher, please step forward. You really impressed us with your meat filling. You proved you're not just a sweet guy. 
You're a serious contender in this competition. The best torch hair of the night. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. I feel fantastic. I am one step closer to being Canada's next Master Chef.